Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about the Realm AI model, which is kind of like an Apple uh, development. So I'm going to break it down. Let's get right into it. We're going dark. Realm, right? Which stands for... Hey, y'all, come look at this. Reference resolution. <laughs> reference resolution as language modeling like why, why they always gotta outsmart somebody right and it's a, it, it is a specialized language model adept at <laughs> deciphering contextual and ambiguous references during conversation such as that one or this it stands out for its ability to process conversational and visual references transforming them into a text format this capability enables a realm to interpret and interact with screen layouts and elements seamlessly within a dialogue which is you know basically like a critical feature for accurately handling queries in visually dependent contexts the architecture of Realm ranges from smaller versions like Realm ADM to larger ones like Realm 3B, uh, and they're optimized to be computa computationally efficient for integration into mobile devices. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the su subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So, this efficiency allows for consistent performance with reduced power use and less strain on processing resources, important for extending battery life and providing swift response times on a variety of devices. Now, furthermore, Realm's design accommodates modular updates facilitating the seamless integration of the latest advancements in reference resolution. This modular approach not only enhances the model's adapt uh, adaptability and flexibility, but also ensures its long-term viability and effectiveness, allowing it to meet evolving user needs and technology standards across a broad spectrum of devices. Now, Realm, language models, Realm, language models. What what is the difference between realm and language models? So let's get into it. While traditional language models like GPT 3.5 mainly process text, realm takes a multi-model route similar to models such as Gemini by working with both text and visuals. Unlike the broader functionalities of GPT 3.5 and Gemini, which handle tasks like text generation, comprehension, and image creation, Realm is particularly aimed at deciphering conversational and visual context. That's the key, right? However, unlike multi-model models like Gemini, which directly process visual and text data, Realm translates visual content of screens into text, annotating entities and their spatial details, this con this conversion allows realm to interpret the screen content in a textual manner facilitating more precise identification and understanding of on-screen references so how will realm transfer or transform siri because that's basically like the connection here apple right so realm could significantly enhance siri's capabilities transforming it into a more intuitive and context aware assistant and here is how there might be some impact right there's going to be better contextual understanding so realm specializes in deciphering ambiguous references in conversations potentially greater uh or greatly improving siri's ability to understand context dependent queries this would allow users to interact with Siri more naturally as it could grasp references like play that song or call her without additional details. It will also enhance screen interaction. Now, with its proficiency in interpreting screen layouts and elements within dialogues, Realm could enable Siri to integrate more fluidly with a device's visual content. Siri could then execute commands related to on-screen items such as open the app next to mail or scroll down on this page, expanding its utility in various tasks. There is also the personalization like, you know, it, you know, it can improve, uh, you know, Siri's ability to offer personalized and adaptive responses. So that's what I have for you, for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your support. See you in the next video. Stay safe.